What's good with y'all boys, man? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. As y'all can see from the thumbnail and title, I got a special video for y'all. I got the best essentials for back to school. Okay, as y'all know, bro, school is dead ass literally around the corner. I don't even know if some of y'all done started school. I don't even know if y'all go to school to next month, but I have school next week. So I'm going to be giving y'all some the best essentials for back to school because, hey, I'm not even going to be like these other YouTubers because I've been seeing a lot of essentials like back to school videos, but they haven't really been, you feel me, the best ones. So I'm going to be giving y'all literally the best essentials for back to school some stuff that I um, bring to school the best essentials that I use for myself when it comes to back to school so everything I'm gonna be showing y'all or telling y'all today's video is literally the stuff that I use and the stuff that I um bring with me damn near every year to school year but but y'all let me down in the comments what grade are y'all going to and what day do y'all go back to school because I ain't lying I'm curious this school year right now is kind of look like weird I don't know because last year I got out early and now I'm going back early. So, so I don't even know why they did that. But before we even get into today's video, y'all boys, make sure y'all go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you can notify when I upload. Make sure y'all follow me on all my socials because as y'all know, that's where I communicate with my subscribers the most. And you know when the video's gonna drop before it actually drops. But I ain't really gonna keep talking y'all heads off because I got a lot to stuff to go over in today's video. But without further ado, let's hop straight into today's video. All right, so for the first essential that we got for today's video is indeed a book bag. Now, y'all should have known this is gonna be the first thing that I listened to today's video because how you gonna go to school with no book bag? So get you a book bag, bro. As y'all can see, I just keep, I kept it plain and simple. I just got me a black Adidas book bag. I think I got this on sale last year for my junior year for like $30. And I look you fuck with it. You got everything that you need, all the compartments. You got um, the, the, um, the pouch right here where you can hold your water bottles. You got, I put the off-white tag on there because I don't know. It just looks fine as hell. Don't judge me in the comments, but as you can see, you got the Adidas logo right here. You got like two pockets right here, pocket up here in the bit pocket. And then they got like some other, um, they got like some other pockets on the inside as well. So that's why I really went with this book bag. As y'all can see, it has the buckles right here as well you can put that around like your chest area but yes get you a book bag bro don't get you no not me personally everybody say go spray ground but i feel like everybody in their mama has a spray ground book bag and me personally i don't really fuck with spray ground so now this year ain't gonna lie i do want to get another book bag so i can troll because i want like a troll book bag i want like like a light mcqueen or like some kiddish type of book bag because it is my last year so i'm like why not but like i said book bag is the first essential for today's video get you a book bag bro if you walking around just carrying your shit like this my nigga you Get the fuck on. But for the next thing in today's video, the next essential that you're going to need when it comes to back to school is some headphones. Now, I advise you to get some beats to be real because AirPods low key, well, I don't know. When I had my AirPods, it was literally like they stopped being loud after a few months. I don't know. Because I, I think I had bought two pairs of AirPods. And the first ones I had lost them, the second ones, um, those are the ones that weren't really as loud. but. I don't know AirPods or I don't know if it's just because I had the first or second generation of them It was like the first ever model that ever came out But them shits stopped getting loud after like a few months and it was like one was louder than the other one But I advise you to get beats bro because these shits are so more convenient so much better than AirPods They last long as hit like long as hell like I had these on 52% and they stay like that all day to the next day and to the next day like bro like i say if you put this on 100 percent, it might last you a month on some shit i'm not gonna lie because the battery usage on this shit is crazy like airpods probably die in about you're not gonna make it through the whole day with a full battery of airpods i just know that but with these you definitely are and headphones literally save me throughout the whole year of school because it's like bro i can't just be sitting there not listening to music i always have my airpods in i'm always listening to music while i'm walking in the hallways while i'm in the classroom or i just literally have them in my ear 24 7 because it literally helps me get through the day music is like therapy to me so i advise y'all to get some headphones and plus when you like on tiktok or instagram in class and shit or watching youtube videos you do not want that shit to be playing out loud so get you some headphones bro like this is not even just like this is an all-around essential. This is not even just a back-to-school essential. So I advise you to get you some headphones, some AirPods, AirPod Maxes, anything. Just put something in your ear because, bro, you do not be want to be walking around class, walking around school with no music or nothing like that. But the, for the next essential for today's video, we do indeed have my iPad or um, you can use an iPad or a MacBook. Now, I usually don't bring my iPad to school like that unless I'm really designing like some clothes or... I'm just bored and my fucking I want to be on my Chromebook. That's the only reason why I re usually bring my iPad. Most people bring MacBooks so they can do their work or um, anything else on their MacBook because when it comes to the school Chromebooks, they literally have damn near everything blocked. Or I advise you to bring an iPad or bring like an um, MacBook or anything like that. That is like, it literally helps me get through school because bro, most of the time I dead ass be bored and some of the times I just be wanting to design on my iPad like when it comes to clothes and shit but the next thing of today's video is pencils 
Gang, if you going back to school with no pencils and you're going to be the first one, I know it's going to be you right there. No, watch out, not you. It's going to be you. You're going to be the first one, or you're going to be the only one on the first day of school going to be asking, bro, you got a pencil, bro? Gang, it's the first day and you already asking for a pencil? Gang, go to Dollar Tree, go to Walmart, go to any place and get you a patch of fucking, or a pack of fucking... You you want you you could do so you like I said, bro. Go to Dollar Tree or Walmart or anything like that and get you some lead pencils. Well, now we do not use the regular um, number two pencils over here. We do not use the wooden pencils. We only use lead pencils over here. So, like I said, you do not want to be the only person at school asking for some pencils because I know how I get. I ain't gonna lie, I done been down that, down that route. I ain't gonna lie, I done got a pack of lead pencils and I done lost them shits in like a week. And it was the first week of school, so I advise you to get like two packs, three packs. They're not that much, bro, I'm trying to tell you, but do not get them number two pencils. We don't use that over here, because you do not want to keep getting up, sharpening your pencil. All you got to do is keep you some lead on you, and you good. It's more convenient than just getting up, sharpening your pencil. But like I said, get you some pencils, game, because how is she going to do your work? How is she going to write? How is she going to do anything in school? Because a book bag and that is like the number one things when it comes to school. But for the next thing that we got for today's video is smell goods. Now, what I mean by smell goods, this is what I mean. Look, bring you... I don't, you don't even necessarily have to bring it. Before you go to school, put some fucking cologne on, put some smell goods on, because half the niggas at school be stinking, bro. And I know, and I'm pretty sure everybody that's watching the video has that one person in their class or one person at that school that never smells good. So, bro, make sure you have some smell goods. Make sure you spray some cologne on. Make sure you always smelling good, because if you smell good, you're going to feel good. It's just how, it just worked like that. But get you some smell goods, I'm trying to tell you. It's literally worth it. That's not even just for schooling, anything. Smell goods are literally like, and everyday essential that you need to have with you. But for the next thing that we got for today's video is lotion. Motherfuckers be coming to school ashy as hell, but I've been down that route, bro. Because I ain't gonna lie, I done left the house before without with some ashy elbows or like some ashy knees and I forgot to throw some lotion on. So um, if you just got some, you don't gotta bring your main lotion, just get you like a travel lotion or get you a lotion that you can bring with you to school, strictly for school, so you don't have to keep bringing your main or like your own that you use at the crib. Now, like I said, it's really convenient and really helpful if you bring lotion or anything that's gonna keep, you feel me, keep you from being ashy because you do not wanna be that one person asking everybody for lotion every day and day because like I said, I was that person at one point, but I ain't really gonna spend too much time on that because as y'all know, lotion is not that big of a deal, but the next thing for today's video is chapstick. Now, I don't necessarily use chapstick, I use Aquaphor, this is something I really recommend. My, my lighting, my lighting, my lighting, but y'all know what Aquaphor is. Aquaphor is something I really recommend. It's more convenient and it's not hard to lose because no gay shit how big it is. The chapstick is like little as hell. I, the amount of chapsticks I done lost within like, I don't even know, bro. I done had so many chapsticks that I lost. Like if I could find all of them, it would dead ass probably be like 100 of them because I'd be losing my chapsticks like this, bro. I can get a chapstick and lose it in like the next hour. But I don't know. It's just something like with this, I never lose. So, and I done had this for a little minute and they dead ass last for a long time. So like I said, I advise you to get some Aquaphor. It's way more convenient, it's way more better than chapstick, and I actually got put on. So, hey, y'all boys, get you some Aquaphor because you don't want your lips to be chapped on the first day. You don't want your lips to be chapped the whole year around because how you gonna get your girls? I'm not saying me, but I'm saying how you gonna get the girls? They gonna be looking at your lips and be like, oh, no, nah, his shit crusty, his shit chapped. I don't even wanna fuck with that. But that is another essential that I'm gonna be giving out today's video, bro. Get you some chapstick, get you some Aquaphor, and anything that's gonna keep your lips moisturized. All right, for the next essential for today's video, the next essential that I got for y'all is slip on shoes. Now, this is something that you really don't really need to bring to school. This is something that just um, I personally do. But bringing slip on shoes. Now, I really depend on what shoe you're wearing. I advise you to bring slip on shoes because, say, I know on the first day back of school, y'all gonna be wearing some shoes that's uncomfortable or like some shoes that's bricks. Like, say, for the people that's like wearing me hards or Tims or anything like that. I advise you to bring some slip on shoes because your feet are going to be hurting all motherfucking day because I, I bro, I done been through it. I literally bring um, two pairs of shoes kind of, I'd say like three times out of the week because two times out of the week, I, I usually already bring or wear slip on shoes. So like I said, bring some slip on shoes, like some birds, some cross or anything like that because your feet are going to be hurting. I'm not going to lie. Like I said, it really depends on what type of shoe you're wearing. Now, if you're wearing some comfy shoes, you don't um, necessarily necessarily have to do this, but like I said, that's just something I do, but I ain't really gonna spend too much time on that because like I said, it's not really that um, important. But for the next essential that we got for today's video is water bottles. Now, Angela, I've been bringing water with me to school since middle school or like probably the start of high school. I don't really know, but water is important, bro, because you do not be wanting to drink out of the water fountains at school, especially after COVID, fuck no. But I usually bring two to three water bottles with me to school because, um, like I said, I drink it at lunch um, and I drink it throughout the day. 
Plus, I'm not finna be drinking that school milk. The only time I drink school milk is if I don't got um no beverage or anything like that when I'm at lunch. But drinking water bottles, bro, is important. Make sure you stay hydrated throughout the day. And that's not even just with school. Make sure you drinking your make sure you drinking your water throughout the day because hey, bro, you need to stay hydrated. Stop drinking soda. Stop bringing bro. Just stop drinking soda every day. I don't get how people do that, bro. For the next thing of today's video, we do indeed have gum. I kid you not. This is so important because motherfuckers at like seven o'clock in the morning be having stinking ass breath. I don't even know how that's possible because that you should brush your teeth in the morning with mouthwash and all that. So how is your breath stinking at seven o'clock, eight o'clock in the morning, or just in the a.m. in general, bro? I'm trying to tell you, I do not, bro. At my school, bro, it's so crazy. Like I don't, I can't even count on my fingers how many times I encounter somebody with some bad or stinking ass breath, bro. I'm trying to tell you, get you some gum, carry you some gum around you. It's literally like. And essential that you really should carry around like 24 7 anyway but bro gum is not that much it's literally like a dollar bro just keep it in your book bag keep it on the side um of your book bag zippers any anywhere in your book bag I'm trying to tell you because gum is important bro you do not want to be walking around with stinking breath and it's always good to have good smelling breath 24 7 but i ain't really gonna spend too much time on that because that's kind of self-explanatory nobody wants bad breath but for the next essential of today's video is a haircut now this is mandatory. You have to have a haircut when you go back to school, bro. You do not want to be going to school with a fucked up hairline. You do not want to go to going to school with sideburns all down here looking like you haven't had a cut in fucking years. I'm trying to tell you, get you a cut. I advise you to get it like three, two to three days before you go back to school, or it really depends on like what days you go back to school. But get, but get your haircut like two to three days before school because that's gonna um, still give it time to look fresh throughout the whole um, week. So I'm trying to tell you, get you a haircut. You do not be wanting to go to school with a fucked up hairline or looking like you haven't had a haircut in some years because if I get a haircut, it just boosts my confidence and it boosts how I feel throughout the whole day or how I'm feeling in general. But like I said, get you a haircut that is like mandatory, bro. I'm trying to tell you, not go to school with no fucking cut. Yo, hey, on, the, on the first day, all the other days, it don't really matter. On the first day, bro, please have a cut, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I don't know why. Either that or retwist. I don't know. Because people be coming to school just looking like, I don't even know, bro. Like, they don't give a fuck. But for the next essential and the last essential of today's video, this is not something you really need, but snacks. Now, me personally, I carry snacks throughout the day because I ain't going to lie. I be hungry as fuck. And throughout them eight hours of school, seven hours of school, how long, however long it is for y'all, but I need snacks. I need to be um, snacking on some damn near like every every hour of the fucking day because, bro, I don't know. I just get hungry when I'm at school. I feel like I get hungry the most. Like I've never been at school and not not be hungry. Plus, I have to wait to like 12 to even get lunch. So, and nine times out of ten, the lunch don't be good. So, like I said, bring you some snacks or just bring you a lunch box in general. But I'm really gonna be focused on snacks because, like I said, I be stacking up with snacks when it comes to me going to school. I damn near bring like two bags of chips, probably some candy. Uh, I damn near, I mostly bring chips though. Bring some oatmeal pies, throw, bro, throw a lot of shit in there, bro, just go crazy. Bring your whole pantry if you really want to, but like I said, I bring hella snacks and I be having the two water bottles on the side, nigga, I be good throughout the rest of the day and it literally helps me get through school. But everything I'm telling you on today's video, I feel like if I um didn't like use or bring half of this shit to school, I feel like I would not be able to fucking go through school hour. I feel like I would not be able to get through the days because all this shit literally helps me get through school because i know school is boring everybody know how school is but that is gonna wrap it up for today's video i really hope y'all enjoyed with the essential that i gave you but before we end today's video y'all boys make sure y'all go ahead and like comment subscribe turn on post notifications y'all can notify when i upload make sure y'all follow me on all my socials especially my instagram because as y'all know that's where i can make my subscribers the most and you know when the video's finna drop and you know when the video's finna drop before it actually drops but i ain't really finna keep talking your heads off or holding y'all for too long but with that being said i'm out